Hi, and welcome to the Carolina Sports District, the number one youth sports show in the Carolinas, also known as TCSD. Let's go. All right, guys, sorry I couldn't make it to the camera this week, but we've still got a great show for you. Let's go ahead and get right into those highlights, why don't we? In this week's highlights, we have the CMYFL Unlimited Weight Championships. The winners of these games will go to the AYF All-American Regional Championships here in Charlotte, North Carolina. The first game we have are the Providence Volunteers versus the South Charlotte Rams in the 8UH category. Another rematch from earlier this season where the Rams came out on top. Rams get the ball first and start the game with a big run, but he's brought down 45 yards later. But that wouldn't keep the Rams out of the end zone much longer because they score right here from two yards out. Rams are up 7-0. Rams defense will hold up and they will get the ball back and score again from three yards out this time. Rams have the lead 14 to zero. Volunteers get the ball and decide to go to the air, but the Rams defense is showing that they can get it done too. Punishing the quarterback on the throw, forcing a sack fumble. The first guy tries, oops, ooh, he misses it. Again, shall we? Mm, he misses it, but will crawl to the ball to recover. Ball is in Rams possession now. Looking to score again, Rams move the pile closer and closer, but the Volunteers make a big time goal line stop at the end of the half. Second half, Rams throw an 11 yard pass for a touchdown. Volunteers get a spark of life, but it turns out to be too little too late. Rams come out on top again this time, 20 to zero. We spoke to the coaches for the South Charlotte Rams and here's what they had to say. We got a great team. We won the CMYFL 2015 championship. Um, we got a great group of kids walking in front of the camera. Um, they worked hard all season, did everything we asked them to do. They came out here against a solid Providence Volunteers team. They gave us a good fight. We were able to do it in the trenches, which is where the fight is won. And, um, we got it done. Defense wins championships, so we got the best defense in the league. Easy. We got some real good coaches come out here every day and uh, work with these kids every day, giving that 110 percent. And I, I just, want, you know, defensive coach uh, putting donuts on the board. We're going to uh, regionals next week. We're gonna keep working hard. We're done celebrating as of right now. We're gonna get back in the, in the lab come up with some new stuff for them, and just be ready for next week. I don't know who we got, but they better be ready, because we're going to be ready. Next, we have the 10U U City Irish versus the Charlotte Cardinals. Irish strike first, and what looks like just a movement of the pile somehow ends up as a touchdown. Irish up early 7-0. Next play, Irish get the ball back and go right up the middle, moving the pile, but he gets stripped. Cardinals recover, it's Cardinals ball. However, the Irish defense stands strong, getting the sack. Cardinals just cannot capitalize and end up giving the ball back to the ice. The Irish keep the momentum going, this time going to the outside with their running game, scoring from 20 yards out. The PAT following the touchdown, Cardinals defense makes a big time hit, and the game stay at 13-0. Late in the game, when it appeared that the Irish were running away with the game, Cardinals go to the air and they score with 40 seconds left. Game is 13 to seven now. An onside will get the Cardinals the ball back and possibly enough time to score. But the ball doesn't make it 10 yards. Irish win 13 to seven. Even though the Cardinals lost, they find out that they are still qualified to participate in the regional championship. In this week's final game, the 12U Providence Volunteers take on the Valentine Gators. This game would start off a little unexpectedly for the Gators as they fumble on the opening possession. And the Vols will make sure to capitalize on that through the air on a beautiful 19-yard touchdown pass. And they are hyped! It doesn't take long for the Gators to drive the ball. They take it to the house from three yards out. Game is tied 6-6. Six in the following kickoff, 
we see some true contact football as the Vols make a banging block followed by a banging Gator tackle. However, Gators would eventually get the stop and the ball back, and it's me, Mario. Mario Love shows his team some love, hitting the hole with some speed. He cuts back, breaks a tackle, and he is gone. Gators lead now 12 to 6. You can feel the momentum shift happening quickly. Gators get the ball back, breaking two tackles, hitting the sideline, taking it down 69 yards for the touchdown. Gators run away with this one, winning 31 to 6. AYF Regionals will be in North Carolina this year and the Carolina Sports District will be there. We are excited to see the teams coming from all over to represent their cities and states in the championships. Keep an eye out for us, we'll be there. There are still plenty of championship games to be played in the Charlotte area. Stay tuned week after week to see what kind of updates we have on these championship games. Also, tournaments are coming up, only a few weeks left. Don't forget about that Carolina Gridiron Classic and check out the website to see what else is going on in the area. Don't forget to keep us informed about big games and scores so that we can keep all of our rankings updated. Continue to check us out here each week on YouTube and to hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And as we say each week, there you have it. <laughs>